like this landing. Yeah, it's a little bit big bang music. Shh. That sounded nice. I'll be honest, this uh, musical drone is not doing much for me. That sounded nice. Resident senior of this house. I seem to be having a problem with the elevator. Door jams every once in a while. Keep some sort of grease product handy. I'll lend you some butter, but I'm all out, I'm afraid. It's all right, I'll probably be able to find something. I want to use butter on an elevator. That would be rancid. Go if you're by yourself. You know, this doesn't make much of a showcase, does it, when I'm thinking about it? I think I'd probably do what uh, a lot of YouTube peoples do and just cut out highlights of the gameplay. And put it in the 10 minutes. He seems such a polite little man. Unlike the caretaker, Mr. Moore. His father, he was a caretaker. Uh, okay, you don't like him? You don't like Morton? He tried to get me evicted as soon as his father died. Fortunately, I've got connections with the house board in this town. Excuse me, I'm afraid I'm being rude to my guests. He's a guest. Eddie. Alright, enjoy Bridge. The game old people play, I suppose. Yeah, I guess do highlights. If anything, I want to see how this game evolves between the episodes. I mean, 2010 to 2017. Seven years of development, of episodic, and <laughs> so far doing a faster release schedule than Half-Life does. Well, I need to find a way to grease things. I can't get down the stair. Can I get into this box now? Open the closet. Nope. Door locked. I need to find some grease. Let's ask our wife if she knows anything about grease. He was just here to drop off the keys. He was creepy. What are you talking about? He was so very creepy. Okay. Turn it on. Leave it on. Oh wait, no, I have baby oil. I, I picked up the baby oil earlier. I got it. I got to use that. That's that's what'll open up the elevator. Loading compartments. Baby oil that elevator. Magically works somehow. Floor two. We got some music. Oof, Morton, why, why do you look so creepy? So now we're talking about creepy scientific research. He was one of the first to study and try to remedy sleeping disorders. Patients would live in wards upstairs while underground treatments. He sectioned off his apartments in... Okay, so this used to be a sleep disorder study house for patients. But as the funding grew less and less... He started using it for other things. Well, no, he started using the office as apartments to make money. Which 
Mr. Willard. And Miss Theed. So quite possibly my me my neighbor is demented. Quite possibly. Well, let's see if the furniture's here. <laughs> These guys might not be the best at their jobs. Let's see why this guy has got our furniture stuck to the door. I won't sign the receipt unless he delivered the sofa to our apartment. Technically speaking, this sofa has been delivered to a door. I don't buy that for a second. I think you managed to get our sofa stuck in the doorway. And since you can't get it free, you're just going to leave it here? You call it stuck? I say it's delivered. This guy is a prick. Sir. Come on, help me out here. I've got a pregnant wife upstairs and I can't get this free myself. Well, I guess I can give you this complimentary crew bar. <laughs> I'm sure a big guy like you will be able to pry the sofa free in no time. Provided that you sign the receipt, of course. Fine, give it here. I'll sign it. He's not going to budge, so I'm not going to argue with him any further. You haven't seen the last of this? Signed and delivered. Personally, I consider this a job well done. I'm sure you do. I... <laughs> Okay, now leave. Oh, wait, no, the sofa's in your way, you butthead. All right. <laughs> well, that game read my mind. Uh, I guess I'll just leave it here permanently stuck, so I can't leave the house because of a sofa. But I can use the crowbar for other things. Let's go to the second floor. Just, uh, let's see what the creepy thing underneath the floorboards is. <laughs> no wonder it was free. <laughs> Hello. What's this? Okay. Do we need to get it up all the way? I guess... Is it running through here? Okay, it enters through here. Good. Up here. Down here. Even current. Put that right there. Keep that as is. Might as well. Do that. Why does that change? So, do I need to get them both green? What do I need to do? Or do I need to get them both all the way up? Both green? Nothing. So maybe I need to get the currents 
stuck all the way. even down here. Up through here. This goes in there. I'm really bad at these puzzles. <laughs> what does a resistor do? I'm pretty sure it resists. Okay, so does that mean I have to get the current through everything here without the resistors? So the less current I have going through resistors, the better. Here hits the resistor. We can't have that, so we go back down there. Go through here. Go through here. Oh, I think we did it. Ooh. You want me to bypass the fuse? Okay. Why? This is a bad idea. So I just messed with this sleep experiment machine. Hello? <laughs> oh no, voyeurism. Mr. Morton, why? Do you have a Pornhub account or something? <laughs> oh dear. They all say the same thing. Maybe the previous tenant taped his sexual conquests. Mr. Morton is my prime suspect. <laughs> I feel so violated, Victor. Call the police? What do you think? I'm gonna beat the snot. <laughs> I'll make sure he doesn't get away before the police arrived. stuff is creepy. Let's go get trapped in the elevator. Nope, didn't happen. Mr. Morton isn't here. Windows closed. It's too thick to reach that. Am I going to have to get into the office? Yep. Peek through keyhole. It's a gramophone. A 
so I guess I have to find a way to get through. Oh, hey, buddy. You still here? <laughs> Mr. Morton can't leave. The sofa's still blocking the entrance, sir. Nobody's coming in or out of this place. Including you. You're just gonna sit here and drink your tea? Oh, hey, coat hanger. I'll need this. Thank you very much. Let's go get Mr. Morton Fink. Let's get the key. Let's get the key. Let's get the key. Coat hanger with key. That's not how. Okay. I got my key. Let's open up the office. Beep beep. End chapter one. So that is the end of chapter one? Mr. Morton, I know you're in here. We found your camera. My wife's upstairs calling the police. They'll be here any minute. Oh, I'll just go straight into chapter two. I might as well keep recording. All right, let's, let's keep playing. I want to keep playing this game. Let's, uh, let's cause, call these guys and warn them about Mr. Morton here. This is Victor Neff again. I called earlier about the car caretaker. Morton has rigged the building with cameras. That's nothing to worry about. He's within his rights to keep you and other tenants safe. No, that's not what I meant. He put hidden cameras inside the apartments. He's peeping on the tenants. Good. May have better equipped to handle this. Right. Bye. Just letting you know. Can I take any tool? No. Uh, let's pick up the stamp. Why not? Why? I do not know. It's a date stamp, but it's ours now. Can't have a stamp without an ink pad. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. Toolbox. Shelf. Repairs and maintenance. Paperwork. Dream journal. Oh, this is cool. Actually, I do believe I'll stop this for real in a second. I am. Oh, can I just. No. Nope. Keep flipping. I want to try something else. His dream oh, his own dream journal. Maybe I should have read that. Turn on all the lights. Show him. <laughs> Why not? Turn this counterclockwise. Oh no, it's uh, it's to get in here. But let's see what the back room is real quick. Now, Mr. Morton, ooh, listening to that audio switch, cool. Mr. Morton mentioned that there was still some remnant of the dream experiment going on, or at least some remnant of the old offices. I can hear his voice, but there's no one here. I can't hear Mr. Morton's voice. I really don't know what his voice would be. <laughs> I'm watching his bed just like he was watching ours last night. Does this make us even? Even more books. Uh, shelf. 100 years old. Books. Vision for... That's his voice? Try the simple thing. Uh, it's got to be more complicated than this, but clockwise, counter, and clockwise. Okay. 
I don't know what these squares are. Can't go through his dream journal again, why not? Oh no, is that the end of it? Hearts, um, stars. Okay. I was a heart. Sun, stars, moon, heart, wave, moon, star, heart, moon, heart, sun, stars, bar, sun, wave, star, moon, sun, wave, star, moon, star, I don't know. Let's look under the sofa. <laughs> that didn't help me at all. I don't know what that means. What does that mean? Paper, wait a minute. March fourth, nineteen seventy five, really? On the stamp? Nineteen seventy five, March fourth. Let's look through the dream journal. Wasn't it 1975? Oops. Yeah, that's not going to help me. Unless I find another dream journal. Because the dream journal only goes back to 1970. Well, it's all of 1973. I need 1975. I swear I hear a knocking, but it's really hard to make out from all the music. What the heck?
See, every time I turn it counterclockwise, I hear a knock. Did not want to turn it clockwise. Can't find the clue. Can I leave? Okay. I swear, don't make this a hidden object game. Okay, that might have it. Let's see. 1974. I mean, 1975. Where can I find the 1975 book? Oh, hello. Give that to me. Let's go through 1975 real quick. Oh, that's not 75. Screw you. So I need to find March 4th, 1975. What a strange dream. Then a moon-shaped package arrived. The stars turned on me. Waves fell gently on some faraway beach. I was frightened by the fact that the sun was missing. My heart sang a beautiful song. I have to say it feels better having written this down. Moon, stars, sun, heart. Double secret room. Okay. <laughs> All right, now things are getting interesting. 